Let's talk about short filmmaking and independent film. This year, we had close to 15,000 votes and almost 100,000 views of these films. I think it all starts with um, storytelling, and I think that you can tell a story in many different types of ways, and a short film is just as viable as a two-hour film. As a juror, I was completely impressed with the, both the craftsmanship and the point of view that the filmmakers brought to these shorts. I always love the opportunity for filmmakers to be able to show their work um, wherever they can. So, you know, thank, thank you YouTube for providing the space for uh, filmmakers to get their work out and to uh, show everybody who they can what they're doing. I think it's really important. My name is Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Osorio. I am from Chile and, and my film is Bear Story. I wrote the film and directed and wrote with, um, with a writer, yeah, with Daniel Castro. My name is Frankie Shaw, and I wrote and directed and star in the short film Smilf. The short film is a scene from a pilot I had written, so there was like so much work that went into it, and the whole story and the character before I'd even decided to go shoot the scene. My name is Einar, Einar Baldwin, and I'm with the Pride of Strathmore. It's an animated film, so I directed and I drew all of it, every frame. Uh, my name is Ben, uh, and uh, this is Oli. Hi, I'm Oli. And we made a film called Russian Roulette. It's about how it can be really lonely in London. The idea that other people react to it as well is kind of sweet, and so I can't take anything more than it just feels really good. I don't know, it, it, when you touch somebody else. Not like that though, because that would be weird. I'm Drew Dickler, we're from 100 Second Chances, and Jake and I directed, edited, and shot it together. Jake and I made five original documentaries together, so this was one of five projects that Jake and I collaborated on. I'm Ian Samuels, and I worked on Myrna the Monster, writer-director. Myrna is this alien from the moon that relocates to LA and she's trying to figure her life out and it's kind of my autobiography coming here. I had no idea really going into it what it was going to be or really um, how invested the rap is in looking out for new filmmaking, film, filmmaker voices. Really cool their passion and commitment to it. For me it's a great experience. I get uh, to know uh, really great directors. Uh, there are super nice, um, in incredible talent people and great shorts. For, for me, it's, a, it's an amazing experience to be here. This is an amazing opportunity for us. I mean, this is the largest venue that we've been able to screen the film or be a part of something where the film was represented. So it's, again, a way to, to elevate not only like the work, but how film as a medium, how video and storytelling as a medium in this short, compact, digestible way can really elevate an issue and, and raise the profile of something. I've been in the business for a long time and I'm, I, I really want to support up and coming filmmakers and I, I'm thrilled to be here to celebrate them. <laughs>